that arrow leaf balsam root, which is this perennial herb and it grows on open slopes and dry areas. We're here in the Metau Valley, east of the Cascades. Uh, so if we look at the leaves of this plant, they're arrow shaped, like the name says. They're a beautiful silvery green color and they're kind of soft and fuzzy and they grow in a basal arrangement here. Each plant has multiple flower stems and these beautiful flowers that look kind of like sunflowers. Uh, every part of this plant was edible, so the young leaves were either eaten raw or steamed. The young stems could be peeled and eaten raw, kind of like celery. The seeds uh, could be dried and pounded into flour, or they somehow extracted cooking oil from them. And I think the most impressive part, you can't see, but it's the root. The root grows up to eight feet long. <laughs> the roots were really tough, so first you would roast or steam them for at least three days. Uh, then you would have to dry it again, and then it would be soaked overnight. So you had to work really hard to eat the roots, but they were at least big, so that's useful. Animals also really enjoy eating this plant. It makes really good forage for elk and deer and livestock, uh, and the young plant's tissues about 30% protein, so it's really good forage, and also birds and rodents like to eat the flower seeds. Because of the incredible eight foot long taproot. This plant really can withstand forest fires or drought or heavy grazing or trampling. Uh, so it's frequently planted in restoration plantings too since you can't count on people to stay on the trail. I am especially fond of this plant because in college I took a wild foods course and we all had to choose plant names. So I was balsam root Brit. <laughs> so this is my plant.